Good morning guys! Brookie and I are gonna go fish for some all different species of trout actually on some uh, rivers and streams that we haven't fished this year because we are gonna guide tomorrow. Well not Brookie, Brookie's gonna stay home. I'm gonna guide tomorrow and the client wants to fish rivers and streams and use dry flies only and guess what i haven't fished rivers or streams yet this year because i'm lakes are more fun for me and i haven't fished dry flies yet this year because fish feed 90 percent of the time subsurface so but it's okay um we're gonna go figure it out and figure out where we can catch some fish on dry flies in some rivers and streams and brookie's coming with me we're gonna have a good old time come on with us here we go Put in drive and we're going. All right, guys, the first spot we're gonna try is um, a little creek that has tiger trout, cutthroat, and I think some splake. Um, I usually catch mostly tiger trout here, but it'll be fun. Let's see if I can get them to eat some dry flies. Um, this time of year, my initial thought is they're gonna be eating caddis, so that's what I'm gonna try first. Um, it's a little early for some other flies, but there's still other flies that I could imitate that they would probably take. So, me and Brookie are ready. All right, I'm all set up. Got my net, got my rod and reel. Winston and Galvin six-way. Got my Brookie under there, which I'm going to have to grab out of there. Kurt's holding on to her. I'm wearing boots, not going in with waders because I can just wet wade if I need to. I'm trying out my new knife from Tassie Tiger Knives. It's a company out of Australia. I love this leather sheath, so I got that on my belt here. And I got that on my left hip because you never know. Like somebody made a somebody made a good comment on one of my YouTube videos how I was saying I, I always bring my gun to this lake because I know there's bears. They made a good point. They were like, you should be bringing it everywhere because of people. And that's totally a good point. I used to bring a smaller gun everywhere. It was more low profile. The reason I ended up buying this gun is because it packs more of a punch and uh, you don't want to have to worry about shooting a big old bear with a nine millimeter and having to shoot until your clip runs out. So um, that's why I got this revolver. Um, it's also one of my favorite guns to shoot. For everyone asking, it is a 357. It, shoot, it shoots 38, 38 special, 357, 357 plus P. Um, it's pretty versatile. It's the Ruger SP-101 with a 4.2 inch barrel, 357. So I'm always gonna bring it with me because that's what I should be doing. And yeah, I'm open carrying it anyway, so and it's not like I have to hide it. But we're gonna go, guys. Let's catch some fish. Brookie is such a good cat. I'm so impressed with how good she stays on my back hiking. She just chills and looks around, looks at the birdies. Oh, it's when I stop that she thinks maybe she want she wants to get off. But look, I'm hiking on all these stuff, and she's such a good girl. All right, guys, I just got a beauty splake. Would you have been able to tell this is a splake? I'm going to do a video someday on the difference between splake and brook trout. Bye, buddy. There he goes. So the only problem is he took a nymph. I've been trying a couple different dries for a little while. They're not feeding on the top at all, so I'm just not catching them on the dries. Might be a little late in the day, so hopefully I can convince the guy tomorrow to do a dry and dropper combo, because that's what I just did. I have a... Uh, big caddis pattern on top and then I have a zebra midge on the bottom and that splake just took the zebra midge. Can you hear, can you guys hear Brookie meowing? Look. Brookie, why are you so sad today? She's been meowing nonstop. She's not happy. All right, just got this little splake. Gonna let him go. Got him on the dropper. The good news is right before him, I had one uh, take the dry, but I missed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. 
There he goes. All right, I just caught another splake on a dry finally, so that's good. Definitely with the mist dry hit and catching one on the dry, um, I think this will be a perfect place to guide for a part of the day. Brookie is very, very upset, so I'm gonna bring the cage to the next spot and go fishing with her there. It is a hot day. I'm being sure to keep her in the shade and I keep putting water on her coat so that she's nice and cool, but she's just super unhappy, so I'm not gonna stay here and keep making her unhappy. We'll go back to the truck, drive to the second spot, catch some brookies, hopefully maybe go to another spot, catch some browns, and then we'll head back. And I'm gonna move my trailer in the shade so I can leave Brookie at home in the trailer on days like this, but I didn't want to today because it's in the sunlight and it's a really hot day. So if I move it in the shade a little bit, this way I can leave her at home on river days because she's not as much as a river cat, but we fish mostly lakes, so I can't blame her. We're lake people. Lake people and lake cats. Come on, Brookie. This way. Brookie. You don't want to get your paws wet? Come on. It's okay. <laughs> Brookie, we gotta clean you. Brookie, did your mean old mom give you a river bath? Did she give you a river bath? But now you're so cool, huh? Well, we're getting out of here. Brookie just found a snake and she was curious about it. Usually cats are supposed to be afraid of snakes. I wish you were afraid of it. It was just a garter snake though, luckily. We're gonna get on out of here. Look at Brookie, I'm trying to leave and of all the places she wants to stand on my rocket gator pack. <laughs> and clean herself. Are you kidding me, Brookie? Brookie, you're pushing my sunglasses. Why on my head do you do this? All right, we're hiking out. We got everything all loaded up. I don't know why Brookie wants to sit right here by my head right now, but she is. I'm just holding her up because she's scratching me. Whew, it's hot. Really, really hot. Me and Brookie made it back to the truck and we're gonna move on to another spot. It's like the hottest time of the day, so I just wanna like catch one or two at the next place and just see if I can get them to eat and then move on, go back to the trailer, get a nice cold iced tea, get some groceries, and then go fishing again later after I move my trailer into a cooler spot. All right, just checked another spot, walked around the river a little bit. There are a couple fish sipping on dries. Uh, it is the middle of the day, but the river looks good. Um, and that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna fish it because Brookie in the back, she had a hard time with the last one. It's a hot day, so I wanna get back. It's already one o'clock. I wanna get back to the trailer in time to move it um, into the shade and then go out and fish again. Can I go check out one more river creek thing? Maybe could take a couple casts there and then get on the way. All right, got to the third spot and found some holes where they're hanging around in. I'm not gonna fish it because I don't have time. Like I said, I have a lot to do and Brookie's kind of grumpy today. But there's brook trout here. This will definitely be a good spot. I'm thinking this might be the first spot tomorrow for the guide. So I'm gonna head back, move the trailer in the shade so that I can fish rivers better from now on because my grumpy cat does not like the rivers. So that's okay. I like I like lakes better too, so it's all good. No joke, you guys. Last time I kind of bragged. I'm like, I'm getting really good at this trailer backing up thing. Well, this one was really hard. It just took me a really long time. I finally got it. That'll work, but it's because my trailer's on a slant and I have a couple of boulders and firewood up there from the last people who camped here preventing me from getting a lot of room to maneuver my truck, but I did it. I was getting worried, thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to find somebody for help or something. Like, I just didn't want it to be out here in the sun for my Brookie, because I just laid in it and it made me sweat. <laughs> me and Brookie took a little half hour nap in it, but I woke up like, uh, it's hot. It's right in the beating sun. So it's gonna be better. I'm gonna pull it around and back straight up into this little opening in the tree should be in the shade the whole time. Well, trailer is finally moved where I want it to be. There's a bunch of trees up there you can't see. I'll have to show you in the morning. Um, it was super tough to back it in here. This is going to be a really good spot. I really like it. It's going to be in the shade 90% of the day. Most importantly, during the hottest part of the day. So, it's awesome. 
I'll show you again in the morning. Hey guys, so I just got back from that guided trip that I was scouting for in this video. It was so fun. We caught everything on dry flies and we caught cutthroat, tiger trout, brown trout, and splake. So, so many different species. It was so fun. Let me show you the new position of my trailer and then we'll finish this video. Here it is, right in the shade. Look at that. So nice. I love it. Brookie loves it too. As you can see, I got a lot of sun guiding today. It was hot. But thank you so much for watching another video, you guys. I'm going to be doing them pretty much every day from here on out. So I hope you enjoy that. I'm working hard to get the videos out there. I've been fishing and doing a lot of great things. So I'm having a great old time. As you guys know, um, something I do do, my primary um, business is Fable Lifestyle. You can go to www.fablelifestyle.com. Use discount code YouTube in all caps to save some money just for watching this video. Um, that's my primary source of business and that's something I'm working really hard on growing. So any order, bracelets like I'm wearing, um, hats, t-shirts, like my hats in my truck. And I didn't wear a t-shirt today, but I've been wearing them every other day. But yeah, there's some really cool custom design logo things there, guys. All these bracelets, most of the line that I use is recycled. They're all handmade by me personally. So it's something I'm really passionate about. If you have the extra money or the extra time to support my brand and rep my stuff, please do. I love it, guys. Like I said, use called YouTube to save some money. Thanks, guys. I'm out of here. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another video from me. See ya.